Hello, hello guys, and welcome back to Cat Dog Pig Duck Plays on the Deathcraft Crack Pack server. So guys, in the last episode we had kind of a long holiday weekend, so what we did is we spent a majority of it, not a majority, we, we watched some fireworks and whatnot, the same stuff you do on 4th of July, but we spent a chunk of it building the Evil Temple. I was pretty sure when I was creating this Evil Temple that it would be hard as heck to get through, and then, as soon as I created it, um, XP Crafted just waltzes onto the server and just walks right through the damn thing. Like, nothing ever happened at all. He did break his sword, which is a good sign. So, um, yeah. So let me get back into F5 mode. And let's start this proper. So what I did is, in between episodes, is I, I got myself a bunch of blaze spawners and installed them in the evil temple so hopefully that'll beef it up a little bit until we can get some more permanent um well th these are going to be permanently installed but uh some more some more dangerous stuff in there to keep people from getting their curses cured so yeah like we really want to make it difficult for people to get their curses cured we almost want to make it so difficult that um they basically just do it legit instead of using the cheaty statue of the goddess so yeah, um, so guys, um, let me show you one thing here real quick. Um, I don't know if you can see it from here, but there are clouds over part of my base. We'll fly up here real quick and take a look at it. Um, XB stopped by and he left us all these little clouds around our base. And we ended up leaving some of them here on this floating island because he pointed out to me it looks hella cool and yeah it does look hella cool but he covered most of our base with clouds and there's still a few laying around here um if you want to see that clip I'll, I'll include a link to it right now so yeah check that out he covered my base with crap and in the process the guy i ended up breaking my kiss my grits uh thomcraft pickaxe and it's going to take a little bit to repair um, it, it's on auto repair. I wish I had put like a flux capacitor on it or something, but it's in auto repair and it won't fix itself until it's fully repaired again. I could take some Alumite and fix it up, but I would rather just wait. And in the meantime, we are going to use the object we made two episodes back. So let's go check it out. In here, I have my Osmotic Enchanter. As you can see, I fitted it with the required Obsidian Totems. So you need six obsidian totems surrounding it, and it can't—they can't be more than four blocks away. Um, and on the t and they need to be at least two totems tall, and you, you and but they can also be up to four. Um, so you know, just for looks, I made some of them three and some of them two, and I prettied up the floor here a little bit with some fun decorative blocks. Yeah, so um, we've got all the required blocks. You also have to put night ore on top of each one. So we've got this guy ready now that we can actually use this to enchant stuff. And I figure what we'll do is we'll use the cheatiest tool on the game, the Obsidian Paxel, and we'll, we'll enchant the crap out of it with this new fancy doodad. So we'll put our Paxel in here, and you've got a bunch of symbols down here, and these are the this is the stuff you can add to it. So this is really neat stuff here. You've got Disintegrate, which I imagine... I don't know what Disintegrate does. Let's put that on there and see Disintegrate. All right, we're going to remove that because um, we don't know what it does. But we're going to put Unbreaking on it. We're going to put... Should we put Fortune on it? I think we should. Let's put Fortune on it. And let's put Efficiency on it. So, as you can see, there's this weird kind of little interface here. And you can add what... You can change what levels you want on it by doing this. So, yeah, I'm going to max this thing out. We want it Efficiency 5, Fortune 3 and unbreaking three so that is a tall order um and it's amazing if you can ever get a pickaxe that has all this so it takes a while and i think it's going to use up all the essentia in my wand it basically gives you that stuff by using the essentia in your wand so we are going to probably need i took it out of there and it erased the contents let's get those back on there come on so yeah, once we hit this red button, it will start draining Essentia out of this golden wand and start enchanting this thing. It's got it. I get the feeling this is going to take a hell of a lot of Essentia, so we might have to recharge this wand quite a few times. Um, it looks like these guys are done. 
but it looks like we're out of Ordo and Perdidio. So we need to recharge this wand. Um, luckily, we have a new way of doing that. Um, it involves this player relocator, and it involves going to the end. So let's do it real quick. We're going to go to the end. I have my player locator, relocator. We're going to stand right here, and we're going to hold down uh, right click, and... Ah! So the player relocator, it seems to be something you can build. XP Crafted show, showed us how to make these, and he set up a little platform for everybody. Um, it looks like most of the people haven't set theirs up yet. But it takes you here to the end, and this is the end portal. It looks like somebody's been <laughs> messing around with the dragon egg because it's supposed to be up there. Um, somebody also made a hole here because this is the official way out. So yeah, this is a little ender grinder that XB set up. And as you know, when you when mobs are killed, they drop little Essentia orbs that you can use to fill up your wand. So he's got a little hole here, and if you look in the top left-hand corner, you can see my wand refilling like crazy. Isn't that, isn't that nuts how fast that does? I think sometimes you have to stand back a little bit for more for more Endermen to fall down. If you stand too close to it, they, they don't do it as much. But yeah, look at that. My It's almost completely filled up. The one thing this uh, this Ender grinder doesn't fill up is Ordo. So what we've been doing, or XB brought these two over, these two nodes that have order in them, and I brought this one over here, is yeah, you can just use the order node to fill up the order in your wand. So yeah, this is kind of a... A real kind of feels kind of cheaty way to fill up your wine but damn is it fast and makes it worth it you know so you don't have to go mucking around we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and go back to our base so we're leaving the end here's the end screen we'll just we'll just skip right through that no problem and yeah we're back here and we can put our wand back in the osmotic enchanter and it will continue to drain the aspects out of it until it has enough so hopefully, yeah, it looks like we're going to, as I thought, it was it's going to take a couple of refills to do this. But we also have, let's see up here, we have on our roof, we have a few nodes at our disposal to do this. I need order, well, we may as well fill it up with everything anyway. I think I've got enough mountainous. We are looking for mainly Ordo and Perdido, and I gotta show you this one node I found. Look at this Perdido node. It is 116. That is nuts. So yeah, we're definitely gonna drain the crap out of that. So one thing we're thinking is now that we have all these, this Osmotic Enchanter, and it could basically put whatever enchantment we want on anything ever, but it, it, at the price of aspects, is we need a w bigger wand. We need the biggest wand ever, so we are going to work on that today as well. As soon as I get this Paxel created, hopefully it doesn't take another refill, but I think it is. It's going to take yet another refill. Goodness gracious. All right, let's do this. I just picked a very heavy enchantment set to do, so let's get some more Perdidio. And this is exactly why we need another wand that can hold more, so we don't have to go constantly back and forth like this. This is, this is a little bit tedious. So yeah, let's get that, and I think that'll do it. I think that'll 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 do it up. Do it up, baby. Boop, and throw that in there, and we should have our wand done here now. Or yeah, here we go. We've got an unbreaking efficiency five, fortune three, obsidian paxel, and I got to be careful with this thing because check this out. Boom. As you know, this uh, fitted quarried stone is not easy to mine. And that just sliced through it like butter. So we got to be very careful on how we use this obsidian paxel. We're actually going to probably put it up so we don't cause any issues by swinging it around. Because I do have a tendency to spaz and spin it around. So what we want to do is let's open up our Thomnomicon. And we've been doing a lot more research. Specifically in Thomic... Oh, here. In Apocryphia. I think we've got almost everything unlocked in here with the exception of this and this, 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 and this. I saw something down here recently. Hold on. There's like a little emerald transmutation thing here. Okay, we may as well go ahead and unlock that. I didn't know that was there before. We are going to make this guy. We are going to make the Infernal Wand Core. 
and it is rather expensive. The instability isn't all that bad, but the one thing that makes it kind of difficult is these two pride shards and this superbia. It, if you guys want to know something that a good way to get superbia is to melt down golden weapons, uh, specifically swords, and that will give you a good source of that. So I think we have already got the aspects for that. If I, do I have my goggles on? I do. Um, so I'm looking for light pink. Here we go. There's my superbia. Very good. And I think we've got everything else. What we need to do now is get our stuff together. So let's open up our stuff here and let's get out our pride shards. I think it required two pride shards. So we're going to fill each of these up with one, two, three, just to be safe. This isn't a super hard spell, but we want to just be careful because we don't want to do this twice. So there's our two pride shards. Um, I think one thing it called for was a wither skull. And I think I know where one is. I know where one of those are. We can just take this guy off of here. There we go. Actually, let's grab more than one just in case it causes some issues. So we'll put that guy here. I'm gonna go downstairs, grab some more. I think we also need a blaze rod. So we may as well collect the other bits of this. Blaze rod, we'll take three of those. We need some quartz. We'll take three of those. Um, we need some soul sand. Hopefully I got soul sand. It's gonna be embarrassing if I don't have soul sand. Oh, it's embarrassing, I don't have soul sand. What about down here? Oh, oh, I just saw it. There it is, soul sand. Perfect. Thank goodness. Um, let's get some of this crap out of our inventory here. We're gonna put our player relocator on this table. I think that's a good spot for it, and I have an obsidian sword for some reason. There we go. Um, let's look in the book here real quick. What was what were the other bits of this? We need a blaze rod in the middle. We need some blaze powder. We need Salus Mundi, Mundus, and yeah, let's grab some more wither skulls while we're here as well. I got a ton of these. Okay, um, we need some blaze powder. I don't think I have any of that made, so we're just going to go ahead and break up a blaze rod or two. Okay, very good. Blaze rods. Okay, let's get this stuff together and see if we can make this bad boy. Okay, so here we're going to put the blaze powder. Very good. Over here we'll put the soul sand. Oh, we'll put the rest of the skulls in here. Just in case anything goes wrong. Here we're going to put the soul sand. Just as much as possible. And here we'll put the quartz. And I think that's it, guys. We just need to put the blaze rod in the center. And you never have to worry about losing the thing in the center. So you don't need to hook up a hopper to that. Uh, what, let's just double check ourselves here so we're not... Oh, we almost forgot the Salus Mundus. Oh, lordy. Where that Salus Mundus? Da, da, da. I swear I thought I had some. I guess we could make some. Man, it does look like I do not have any Salus Mundus. What the crap? You guys are probably screaming that it's like right here. But let's just make some real quick. This shouldn't shouldn't be too hard. So I think it's just one of these and two of those like that. Salus Mundus. I don't think I'm going to need any more than two. I'm just going to cross my fingers that the spell goes well. There we go. Two of that. And we should just be able to zap this with our magical wand. Let's take the cap off of it first and zam! Alright guys, cross your fingers. We should have everything for this. And this should go very smoothly. Fingers crossed. Ah oh, man, that stuff is so red. What is this stuff? The, the Infernus? That stuff is so red. That is the reddest thing in this game. And there goes the Magicka, or the Prescindio. See, look at that, it already knocked off one of my skulls. But look, it popped right back on. So we can just open this up, throw the skull back in. That is my favorite new trick, is using these hoppers to do this stuff. Um, um, I think I need to... Let's put these uh, pride shards in here real quick, just in case. All right, it's still doing. And there we go, it's done, cool. There was a little bit of a mishap here where, let me grab grab these heads. Oh my goodness, what a mess. 
where this stuff... Ah! It fell through the floor there. I keep forgetting that that's a thing. So if we put that there, it'll clean it up. Okay. Well, anyway, we've got our stuff, and we'll do this cleanup later. Um, so yeah, here is our infernal rod. Oh man, that sounds weird. So let's throw that on the floor, and we'll scan it real quick. Boom, look at all that. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Let's see if we have any gold up here that we could turn into gold end caps. I always do gold. I know that th uh, thaumium end caps are better, but good lord, do they take forever to make. And ain't nobody got time for that. There we go. Let's do this. And we'll put our infernal rod there. And it looks like we need some air and fire to complete our spell. So we'll just pop upstairs real quick. Get some air and fire. Where is my way in? There we go. This one looks like fire. And if we could just get a little air. There's some, there, I think there's enough in here. There we go. And we'll pop down here and we'll make our new awesome infernal wand. Now this infernal wand has a lot of good qualities to it. Oh, look at that. Gold banded infernal wand. It can hold. Let's, let's open it up and let's take a look at it. It can hold 150 vis. And it will slowly replenish, replenish the ignis in the vis up to 20%. While in the nether, it'll even do it 30%. And then it says also, the wand imbues you with some protection from the nether's hazards. In extinguish you, extinguishing you if you are on fire or protecting you from the effects of withering. Look, did you hear that? It protects you from withering as long as it's in your inventory. My god! That is worth it right there, just the withering stuff. And now that we have a way to recharge our wands, let's see if this thing even is recharged yet. Get this, uh, what do I not need? I have a bunch of stuff. We don't need these inner pearls. Um, yeah, this guy's ready to go. So we can go right to the nether now, right to the end. And we can, we can charge this bad boy up. So definitely something we want to do is get some more order nodes over here and that way we can we will constantly look how fast that fills up oh my goodness that is great this is cheaty mccheats i gotta tell you what it does slow down suddenly so what you gotta do is just stand back and just let them rain down hey where'd they go there they come there they go falling to their death yet again so guys, I think we're going to wrap up the episode there. We've got a pretty awesome wand on our hands now. And uh, nobody's going to mess with me now. Nobody. You're dang right. I've got a pretty red wand. Why don't you get out of my face, huh? So guys, as always, I want to thank each and every one of you for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, give it a big thumbs up. And if you want to subscribe, do that too. And until next time, guys, we'll see you all real soon. Expelliarmus!